uh, g'day and welcome back. And I have, I think, four or five quick things to share with you that um, may or may not help uh, what you're doing with these uh, Slayer Exciter uh, induction coils. Uh, the first thing I would like to demonstrate is what I'd call the golden, Goldilocks zone. Okay, uh, and that is, um, I'll use this little LED as an example. Okay, as we can see, uh, this little device here, okay, with my little pickup uh, bit of metal, uh, I'm gonna put it right underneath and you can see, you can see how it uh, impacts. There on our, of course my hand is impacting now as well. Okay, we have three point, let's say 3.36. Now I'll start moving it away, it goes up, 4.17, 4.18, 4.24, so it's using less. And it's still using less, but it gets to a Goldilocks point, 4.41, you can see, it'll start dropping, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, and as you can see, it starts dropping again. There you go. Uh, the reason for this is, I'm, I'm not sure why. Um, however, the my theory is that's when you see the Caponazzi, uh, how he has his primary a certain distance away from the secondary uh, for uh, the best um, result. And I, and I think it's to do with capacitance, um, the capacitance of the system uh, as a whole. Um, and so that's that's the first thing I wanted to demonstrate. There's a Goldilocks zone uh, where it actually is most efficient to have your pickup um, or in fact your primary um, a certain distance away from the secondary. Uh, it's much more efficient at, at, a, um, at a given distance and that can be measured. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is in relation to the primary itself. I know this is gonna be confusing, but please try and stay with me. Um, so I've got my I've got my primary as a, a trifiler, if I can put it that way, a three, um, it's just your, your house wiring, but it's a three um, coil um, combined in, uh, not, not in series or in parallel, I'll explain how I've connected it in a minute, but um, I've done three or four turns, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many, um, but that will be crucial on the next video. Um, however, what I've done here is, you can see, excuse me, you can see where uh, my input is to the coil, uh, and then there's the output, and then the output of that coil, what I've got is I've got to go on back to the second one, okay? And then from the second one, there's the end of the second one, got that, in fact, going back to the third one, and the third one then, I've got going, uh, where's the third one going to? to the red one. Uh, the red one goes to here, which is uh, then back to our um, back to our system here. But I didn't realise till I'd watched a few other films um, the significance of what I found here by myself, and, and I'll um, show you in the schematic. So where you have this as your uh, secondary, um, our primary actually goes like this. Uh, now, the difference that it does is um, it actually increases the, uh, it actually really increases the area of the induction um, quite substantially, uh, as I demonstrate with this. Um, as you can see, it starts up quite a long way, actually, not a good, there you go, so quite a long way uh, from this very inefficient um, coil. So I thought that was very interesting, whereas before I had to basically put it right on there for that um, little neon to light up, and, and now it actually lights up quite a ways from there. Um, this one is this this one, as you can see, um, the induction the induction there is 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 quite good now. Um, so that tends to uh, induce the the uh, secondary a lot better. Now, just quickly, the third thing that. I want to discuss, and I think it's important, is the actual capacitance of the, the plastic uh, and its um, relationship to the windings. Um, what I've found is that there is, a, there is definitely a um, capacitance 
going on here. Uh, very slight, but I think that that could be amplified. Um, so what I think I'll do is, and I can demonstrate it, if I short circuit the, the pole, the plastic, all right, you'll see a difference. There you go. There is a, oh, hang on. There's a clear, a clear, not much, but a clear difference uh, in the uh, consumption. So uh, my thoughts on this, and I don't think I've come across anybody that's done it before, if they have, um, you can let me know, um, is that if I make a capacitor with the same resonant, resonant uh, value as the, as the secondary, or in fact the primary, um, but ideally both, um, then that will make a huge difference to the induction of the, the system as a whole um, and the efficiency as a whole. So let me know what you think about that one. Um, and next is, is uh, while I do this small demonstration, um, is about frequency and um, probably to lower the frequency. Remember how I did this, um, this, uh, this feedback um, in series? With the primary, uh, I believe that that lowers the frequency, but I've got no way to tell. Um, but I think it does. Uh, if you've got some thoughts on that, let me know. Um, but what I, what I want to demonstrate is the induction of of a um, of a transformer. You can see, touching the copper, um, get a really good light, either on the positive and negative. <laughs> negative. Uh, it doesn't matter. Look how bright that is. That's fantastic. But uh, what I found was, uh, it really doesn't matter where you touch it, you can touch it on the, <laughs> on the edge, which tend to indicate it's not actually being induced, the coil's not being induced, it's just a conduit for the, um, for the energy, for the frequency, for the uh, vibrations, if you like. Um, I thought that was pretty, pretty interesting. However, um, by, uh, in this situation, by uh, utilising that power, you also put a um, bit of a dampener on the system. Uh, probably the last thing I want to add just quickly in relation to um, uh, to what I'm doing, uh, I don't get paid for Google uh, from Google for anything, so just feel free to <laughs> go past the ads. I don't know why they put them on there for anyway. I'm definitely not worthy. Uh, but anyway, if anybody knows how to stop the ads from being uh, on my videos, let me know. Um, I'll be interested to really get rid of that side of things. Um, but I understand Google has to make money, but um, definitely not on my watch. Uh, so um, yeah. Uh, that's uh, probably the last thing I wanted to say. Um, the next video is quite technical that I'm going to do, um, and um, it's going it's to be interesting. Um, there it goes again. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, so look out for that, and uh, thanks for watching. And catch you later. Here I've added a, a positive lead to the actual <laughs> to the actual pipe uh, to make it more efficient. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I've had it actually really efficient. Uh, I've had that had that up to uh, five point. Uh, nine eight actually so that's um, once again uh, you can argue if that's efficiency or not don't mind it's just fun well there you go uh, six volts and uh, 88 out of 100 um, just by adding the feedback from uh, the negative instead of going to ground I've got to go into this ground as a separate ground um, there you go 92 91 I've had that up to 98 um, if I add extra load which is interesting uh, uh, and here I've got it running off a 9 volt battery and I can tell you, man, she really sucks the juice when I've got this baby connected. Um, so, so, yeah, uh, there's no way this is anywhere close to um, an efficient system. But anyway, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, okay, catch you later.